This week in West Virginia, the Division of Homeland Security and Emergency Management kicked off Severe Weather Awareness Week with a presentation on tornadoes prior to Tuesday's statewide test of the emergency siren system. Governor Jim Justice spoke with DOH engineers about compiling a list of secondary roadways across the state in need of repairs. I'm going to give you 72 hours. It's not very long. I'm going to give you 72 hours to write down every single road, every road that's in your county, every single thing that you think's wrong. And then I'm going to give you another 24 hours on top of that to categorize it. The West Virginia Small Business Development Center celebrated SBDC Day on behalf of the success of small businesses in the Mountain State. West Virginia recognizes that small businesses are the backbone of our economy and the glue that holds our communities together. The West Virginia Department of Education began a series of stops across the state to gather opinions from the public on education reform. And Governor Justice appointed Dr. Daniel Snavely to the State Board of Education. The West Virginia State Police Forensic Lab has reduced the number of pending cases by more than half, in part by adding to the ranks of its talented and highly trained staff. We're at a level now of where we always should have been with the caseload that we're expected to carry. You can find more information on these stories and many others in our West Virginia Week in Review newsletter.